Good afternoon, hello, welcome to the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. Welcome to another day of triathlon training. Out for a ride tonight, it's not a club ride, and that's why everybody's wearing their own swag. Yeah, Shout out. we'll talk about that in a second, BB. hang on, hang on. Tonight's ride plan is going to be about an hour and 45 to two hours, about 30 odd miles, about 3,000 feet of climbing. Good weather, so we're just hitting it in sort of zone two tempo, mostly chatting. I have to go into tempo on the hills because these boys are a fair bit lighter than me, but that's okay, that's a good workout. Uh, Richard flashing his jersey around, and that is Velo Bavarian, so... <laughs> All right, so... Um, my club, or our club, is South Normanton Cycling Club. Velo Bavarian is a local cycling shop, mechanics, and bike retailer, so they're local friends. However, uh, Richard and I both run the uh, South Normanton Cycling Club Instagram, and I Richard rides with the Velo Bavarian lads sometimes, or he tries to, he gets dropped. Um, but because we're both on the South Normanton Instagram, I like giving them a lot of stick, because they'll think it's Richard and I'll get bullied on club rides. <laughs> yeah? That sounds very good. Yeah, so, um, yeah, check them out. I'll leave a link to them down below. I've, got, I've, I've, I've never been with them, so I don't know if they're all right. Are they all right? Yeah, solid lads. Just, just genuine lads, a yeah. little bit. They must be patient if they put up with you. Straight down. <laughs> we're just coming through Crite. Just Crite, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. So there's a, a tower, a monument up here or something. What's it called? Crite Tower? Crite Stand. Crite Stand, there you yeah. go. Local knowledge over here. My bottom bracket has started creaking again, annoyingly. Uh, I'm testing tonight, running lower pressures. So my tubeless tyres, I'm running about 70 psi, which might still be quite high for some people, but I'm quite heavy, so that's a bit, a bit lower. It feels so smooth, unreal. So Chris is our hill climbing prodigy. Chris, what are you saying? Winners pass National Hill Climb Champs this year. <laughs> Have you got it in you? No? no? Why not? We want to see you in pain. You need a new set of knees first. <laughs> He's getting old, isn't he? He's giving him jip. It's all that, it's all that weight you're carrying. Yeah. <laughs> isn't there some fact about the building here? Something, is that a cotton mill or something? I, I think Wayne said something to me a while ago about this area. Did he? I couldn't think at the time. My heart rate was about 300 beats a minute. Do you want to be a history teacher? No, I was trying to tell him something about that. Home of what was that? Do you want to be a history teacher? Home of knitwear, there you go. It was either the first cotton mill or the last cotton mill or something. So much of a cotton mill. How boring are you? <laughs> Just local knowledge, mate. Boring. <laughs> what do you reckon's this, Rich? Oh, it's class, isn't it? Absolute class. Absolute Name class. a better place to ride a bike. Isn't New York or France? France. No, nowhere. No, no better place to ride oh. a bike than Derbyshire. <laughs> yeah. Absolute class. Unbelievable, isn't it? So let me know your thoughts down below. I'm currently debating hosting some sort of group ride for people who are interested in this channel to come and have a ride around Derbyshire. Nothing too mental, not looking to do like a thousand miles or anything, but just a nice ride with a nice cafe stop, either, I don't know, some point in August. But to be honest, I'm not sure firstly if anybody would come or secondly, how I'd actually do it. But um, yeah, if that, let me, know, let me know your thoughts about that sort of thing down below. Obviously there'll be no charge or anything. We're just riding the bikes on the, on the road. Um, I might even buy you a coffee if you're lucky, how's about that? So yeah, let me know down below and I'll uh, see what I can rustle up. Oh, there we go then. As Richard would say, class ride that. Was it an hour and, no, two hours, 250 watts, uh, 15, no, near 16 miles an hour. Good ride, about 2,800 feet of climbing. I've probably tied to this video, something to do with Liz's uh, marathon training, but she gets more attention than I do. So let's go and, uh, let's go and talk to her about how our running's been going. Okay, so ride done and dusted. Let's have a look at Liz's running since Holcomb. First of all, that's not quite normal, Liz. Why is he doing that? <laughs> He's Jen. waiting for me to collect the washing in from outside. <laughs> Excellent. So, Elizabeth, we are both in dressing gowns. We're ready for bed, all right? It's, it's nearly nine o'clock at night. Which is really late. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so when we look at my training, I get like a training peak screen up. We look at power and data and all that. If you look at Liz's training plan, we consult the calendar, don't we, Liz? We do. We also look at the to-do list that we have, uh, drains <laughs> and toilet blockage. I'll talk about that another day. Uh, Liz, come on then. How was your recovery from Holcomb? What training have you been doing? Um, so I've not actually been on the bike since Holcomb. Um, mm. Not for any particular reason, just because... Um, Lazy AF. No, just because I've sort of prioritised my runs and I've had yeah. a lot of other stuff going on as well. So it's meant that, unfortunately, my bike has just taken... Over back seat for like the last what? week and a half. Back seat, no pun intended. Um, All right. But we are out on the bikes tomorrow, so yeah. I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, don't spoil the tomorrow's video. What have you been doing running wise? Uh, running wise, I had um, 
sort of an easy week last week with recovery from Holcomb. Um, still got my three runs in. Didn't quite space them out how I would have liked to have done really. I should have done Tuesday, Thursday, um, Saturday, but I didn't. I did Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, just because again, life takes over. Um, like I say, that was um, an easy week. It was just sort of mainly time on feet, really. Mm -hmm. Um, I felt like I recovered well. I had a really nice run in the forest, which was lovely. Um, today I've been to the track again and done um, an effort session. Um, so that was three times seven and a half minutes um, off of three and a half minutes recovery. So I did those efforts on the track um, and then just ran around the local park area for mm -hmm. the rest of the run. What sort of pace were the efforts at? Um, so three times seven and a half minutes? Yeah, so two were at 8.05 minute mining pace and one was at 8.04 minute okay. mining. So very all very consistent again, which is good. Um, I've got another sort of tempo session to do later this week and then a long run at the weekend. So now we are building things up, um, build but without um, injuring myself is the is the plan that uh matt's going for at the moment which is quite good so hopefully that all goes to plan yeah. um and also over the next couple of weeks he does want me to do some sort of test so we're just waiting uh -oh. to get the, the confirmation of part run uh -oh. returning to probably use a local part run or something for it yeah i think the good test would be <clears throat> to run a half marathon flat out um, I would have loved to have gone to the track today and done a super sick Lionel Sanders-esque video of Liz doing a track session, but I was in the office office today at work, so I wasn't able to do so. But we're going to we're both off work the rest of the week now, aren't we? Mostly. So we're going to try and get some, uh, like a, a video of your Road to Manchester episode two. That'll have to be Thursday, though. Busy Thursday. No, okay, it might be Thursday. <laughs> All right. So that is it for today's training. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please do hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, please do stay tuned because tomorrow we are not wearing dressing gowns. We're going for a bike ride in my car, aren't we? I'm actually going to go. I can't promise what time we'll get out of dressing gowns. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Um, I'm going to go and try and get around the Outlaw Full Course. I'm going to try and throw a video together with my tips for the Outlaw Full Course. I've done it a few times now, but I just need to refresh myself tomorrow. So, yeah, stay tuned for that, and I'll uh, see you then. See ya. See ya.